You know, if that thing jumps, it's just gonna kill us all, right? <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the first project of the DIY for the G37. So, by this time that you're watching this, all the sweet conversion is done. I was editing the video to upload it for you guys. So, not to get sidetracked, let's get into the video and see what we're doing. So, basically, what we have here, the passenger side is already done. I did the uh, A pillar. And th this is an example just I didn't fully put it back on it's just to kind of see how it would look I did remove the uh, B pillar and the C pillar and this is a coupe and the tools that are gonna make your life easier to do this you'll need a ratchet with a 14 millimeter and then you'll need a pick just to remove some of the to pry some of the smaller caps and then the best thing to remove the top clip that I showed you to be careful with is long needle nose pliers like the longer the better and the thinner also the better so as we can see right here I haven't started on the driver's side which I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna be removing it So now, all I have to do to get these pieces all out is remove the bottom bolt for the seat belt, which is right under the seat. So basically now what you're going to do that you cut out the rough piece um, behind your panel. Basically lay it down. As you saw I sprayed it down with some glass cleaner, it doesn't have to be so fancy. So just make sure it's a little bit clean from the other residue and all that. And now I'm using uh, Gorilla Glue, it's heavy duty spray and you would spray here and then you would spray on the back of the fabric, not the face, the back of it. on the time lapse when I did I got a tiny bit of overspray on the suede over here um, don't worry about it if it's minimal like all you have to do is just use the invisible glass I, I, that's what I use for glass cleaner and then just spray a little bit rub it off with a towel it might take two tries and then it'll come off as you can see it's perfectly fine over here nothing so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it on top lapse again but basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna cut the edges shorter and then I'm gonna get them ready to be tucked in. Okay guys, so here is the first piece on the driver's side all completely done. It's nicely tucked in and see, here you go. Alright guys, so a quick explanation of how the headliner was dropped. So obviously I dropped all the sidings from what I showed in the previous clips. Uh, this panel right here, you don't really have to drop it. All it is, it pries down because there is tabs that hold that. It just supports the headliner to stay on top of the roof. And then the visors, this clip right here, you just turn it. doesn't matter if it's right or left. Turn it sideways and then it'll come down because there is... Um, 
tabs on the sides, so you don't want to just pry on it. It just twists with hand, and then it comes down. It's a little bit hard. And then over here, there's a cap that you remove, and then there is two Phillips on either side, and then you remove those. Visor come do comes down, you unplug this. We decided that we play it safe and go get some glue, extra safe glue, because as I mentioned, I'm using the Gorilla Glue for the side pieces and everything. It's recommended for those, but it's not really recommended for headliner itself because it's different material, because the side stuff are plastic, but the headliner itself is made from something, what were you saying, Salim? Like it was- It's it was, like it was, uh, acoustic fiberglass. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's, it's pretty light, right? So it's different material, and that's one. And then another thing that I noticed is when I started peeling off the edge, like to peel the fabric back, that's leaving some sort of like a sponge. I, I don't, I don't know. Like, it's it's some something from um, the old the old fabric. I don't know if I could peel that off or if that stays there. I don't really ever want to reopen that headliner again. And if it does, it's not coming back in because I'm gonna be doing a roll cage. So that's, that's you're doing what? <laughs> hey, hey, no, I'm not saying I'm doing a roll what cage. What the hell? No, 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 no. I'm not saying I'm doing a roll cage. I'm just saying. In case if I ever ever have to open my headliner again, I'm just gonna go on full roll cage like someone that I know. Right? And you added these things. Ready to be retro whenever this thing's done. Get Jesse to run some tandem. No names mentioned here. I'm not I'm not saying anything, but you know, like, like, it's it's just a lot of work. It's not worth it to keep reopening it and all that, and especially those B pillars, man. Those Unless they change. Oh, look, that flex tape thing. You know, one of those is like memes where it's like bad relationship. Oh yeah. And then it says, Put it on it. ADM. Uh, oh, I didn't know they sold these here. <laughs> I don't know. Damn. You know. When is these works on girls' mouths? No, I'm joking. Babes, I love I, you. I oh my god. Where are they? All the lady subscribers. I love you all. Comment, comment Please. on what you think. You know. So, they've got the 3M. There it this goes. Hmm. Marine application apostrophe carpeting van motor home conversions. Case decisions, place. decisions. I don't know, like, guys, by the time you're watching this video, it's probably already too late. I'll either have nailed it, but maybe even ruined it, and then I'll have to buy extra suede, so here we are. Oh, Five is. retries later. <laughs> guys, we just came back from Home Depot. You know, I had to get another can of the Gorilla Glue. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the, this is... From what we searched, this is in the top five in the list. This one has worked perfect for me so far. It does say not recommended for headliners. Guess what? I'm gonna use it anyways, but if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna blame the company. Then I'm just gonna drive the car and I swear to God, if it falls on my head and then I'm just gonna be blinded. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna drive the car into a wall and then I'm gonna burn it. Calm down, man. Oh, man. Calm you know calm what? Down, you know calm what? Calm what? Calm. Uh, like... Relax. Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. You know, I'm cool. I'm cool. I promise. I'm cool. As you can yeah. see, guys, you know the you know? the back, car. Back on topic. The car game is really stressful, you know. It's. Yeah. Burning wallets, Sometimes ruining I'm families and everything. I, I, so, okay, let me put this back. I feel weird having this. You know, yeah, you're waving that around like a weapon, man. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. CJ Ack. Now I got a roll with ice. Cold, these brothers, my guys. Know that they fly. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. CJ Ack. Now I got a roll with ice. Ride or die. 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 Cold, these brothers, my guys. Know that they fly. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. CJ Ack. Now I got a ride or die.
Hey guys, so this is the next day and I just came back from work even though I'm exhausted but I'm actually really excited to work on my uh, headliner and finish it up hopefully because today is a big process. I was gonna finish it originally yesterday but we had a hiccup. So basically over here we have the headliner which is I'd say 40% done. The whole backside is done and it came out perfect. As you can see there's not a single spot that you can tell that something was done. Now let me point out where the issue was. It's literally right here. Like you might might be able to see like a tiny tiny bit but like guys the camera is super close to it and this is suede like like I said you can brush it you can move it with your hand to like you know it changes it keeps changing texture all right guys so as you can see it's starting to take shape and it's so far so good like this side is smooth this all entire side is good the only kind of issue I'm having right now is obviously because what I have left over here um, I'm gonna try and see how I can work through it, you know, stretch it out because I do have curves over, the, over here which will help with all the extra lines but I need to sleep it off because I am exhausted so I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow and hopefully we'll get this done so but for the main part I'm happy so all right guys so amazing news after coming back to today's Saturday it is all done. So now all I have to do is tuck in the corners, cut the excess, and then tuck in the uh, the rest. Make holes over here, and then... All right, guys, so she is done. All I gotta do is cut these holes, even though I'm debating on deleting the visors and the oh shit handles. But you know what, I'm not gonna do that. And here is the top. Guys, I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Finally, no old burnt, whatever, dirty, stained headliner. I've always wanted to do this weight conversion since I bought the car, and now I got the chance to do it. And this is why I meant, like, I'm even tempted to delete the uh, visors and the oh shit handles because you can't even tell that there's supposed to be anything in there. Like, it's so clean. Guys, you wouldn't believe it, but the center of piece, like the cover, the slide, whatever you want to call it is literally the easiest piece to do like this is in just one minute this whole section from here is already done like the curve sat down perfect all that no creases no issues like it lays down so smooth so i'm just gonna show you in the time lapse i'm just gonna do this half and then all it is is just tuck the edges i'm almost done And here is the front side or top side or whatever you want to call it all smooth all tucked came out way better than I expected way easier than I expected to be honest but really worth it and now I'm gonna be showing you how to turn this into this okay guys we're back again so now I'm going to be showing you how actually you could open up the visor on the G37. I mean, I tried doing a little bit of YouTubing. Some visors were different. Some of them you have to cut it, stitch it, all that. But I'm going to show you how it worked for me. I'm going to show you what I did to make it work. Maybe you can find a way that's faster, better. But I didn't break anything. So first of all, small screwdriver really helps. You want to start wherever, start prying. Now, the tricky part is the slider right here, because I don't know if you could see it, but there is two little tabs. Actually, let me show you the one from the other side. So 
So there's these two tabs. So it sits like this. You're just gonna need a pick or a pry, and then you're gonna be prying those up, and then you slide it out. The reason why you wanna do that, because underneath this slider, there's two screws, and those are the only two screws in here. So once you remove those two, then you can just pry the rest of the way. Okay, so now we got the rough piece cut and I skipped all that boring footage, but basically what you do is once you take out the fabric, I ironed it so it's smooth and flat, and then basically you lay the piece that you cut underneath and then you make a rough shape. The most important piece that I found is you gotta make the piece right here for the mirror perfect, piece right here for the extension, and then the cuts right here, which are sort of like a star for um, where it goes uh, in between, and it's actually this right here, which folds down like that, so it tucks inside clean. You have to make it like the factory one, and the best part about it is when you do that, and then you center. So how you center it? There's two lines, one right here, one right there. You cut through that one and then that basically balances it for you underneath uh, the visor and then the stars you glue those first and then you lay one side at a time and you're good to go it sounds easier than being done but you'll see how i do it Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm not gonna bore you with the rest of the details while tucking in the edges of this piece because I'm gonna do a quick video showing you how everything turned out. So stay tuned for the next video, which is part two, where I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna be painting all the trims and then I'm gonna be showing also how I'm gonna be installing the star lighting, which I'm very excited to see how it turns out. By the way, I have it. I haven't even tried to see how it looks in person. I've seen videos, I absolutely love it. I can't wait to install it. Please like, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think. The comments really help to improve the channel.